Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm just showing you two different designs. Today, I'm going to be showing you a netting design and a coloured glitter design. So I'm just showing you there my CJP Liz Girl brush, that's the brush that I'm going to use today. Just cleaning it off there. So I'm just coming in on this finger with some coloured acrylics from Nail Visions and this one is Bella Sahara and then I think that's Polar Cap I'm just doing like little splodges if you like of the colours, I'm not doing anything in particular with it, I'm just like placing it down and yeah, so and then I'm coming in there with pastel pink because this is just going to be like a background really and then I come in with oh so pale I think, oh no that's polar cap the first, the other one, the other bluey coloured one I used was um, oh so pale sorry about that so I'm just going to place little beads of it all the way down the nail. I'm just going to leave that to set for a minute or two and come in on this finger with oh so pale and I'm just going to do a full colour of that really thin so that I'm not adding too much bulk to the nail I'm just going to leave that to set for a minute or two and I'm just going to come in on that index finger again with some rainbow shards from Sparkle Supplies UK. I will link everything in the description box anyway. I'm just going to do a thin layer of these over the top of those colours. I just think it gives a really nice effect with the different colours in the background. Um, so all I do to pick up the glitter is just dip into my monomer, wipe one side of the brush, dip in and get a tiny, tiny, tiny bead of acrylic and then dip straight into that raw glitter and then just place it where I want it on the nail. If you use it, if you get your 
acrylic bead small enough and wet enough you can really play around with it and position it where you want the glitter so I'm just patting and pressing and then if I've already got acrylic on the nail like I have here I just dip into the glitter again without dipping into the acrylic first and just place the glitter where I feel like I need it just think this glitter is so pretty it's even nicer in person <laughs> camera does not do it justice And I'm just going to leave that to set for a minute or two so that when I come to cap it, it's not going to um, move the glitter. So I'll just allow it to set in place for a minute or two. Now I'm just coming in on this finger again and I'm just going to apply a clear layer of acrylic. Kind of just like capping the nail but yeah. When you do this, you want to try and do it in one bead if you can. But for some reason today my acrylic was setting really quickly. It's quite warm in this room though, so that might be why. So if you are going to do it in two beads, just try and work as quick as you can so it's all setting at the same time. That's only if you're going to do this netting nail that I'm going to do. Um, if you're just encapsulating as normal, you can just do it in as many beads as you want. You don't need to worry. I'm just applying as much as I think that I need and allow that to set up for a minute or two. And you have to wait for it to start going matte before you go in with your netting. So while that does the setting, I'm just going to place my netting into some clear acrylic. It just helps it to not stick to the nail as much as it would if you didn't do that. And then I'm just going to come in and press that into the nail. If you're doing this on a client, you want to ask them to push, either push their finger up as you're pushing down or place their finger on something stable where you can really push down because you do have to push quite quite hard not too much obviously but and then you just wiggle it out gently as you can see and if it, at any point it gets stuck where you feel like it's not coming away easily just go in from a different direction and try pulling from that way instead just so you don't pull holes out of it because otherwise you won't get the desired effect just went in there and neatened up that side well a little bit because it was sticking out Now I'm just going to come in with those colours again that I've used on the other nail and I'm just going to do basically what I did on that nail with the little blobs but I'm using it really wet so it really can seep into those crevices. hope that makes sense. <laughs> Not very good at explaining how <laughs> Sorry about my phone going off there. So as you can see I'm just placing little blobs where I feel like I want them.
And then I'm just going to leave that to set while I can't the other nail with the glitter on. I'm using the CJP crystal glass for my clear acrylic. I'm just thinly capping it because I don't want to bulk the nail up too much. And then I'm going to come in with my hand file and just refine the shape and um, file over that netting design to reveal the design, netting nail to reveal the design even. And then I'm going to come in and top coat. So I hope you like the video. If you want to see any more from me, I will leave a link to my channel in the description box along with links to the products I've used and any discount discount codes that I have. I can't speak tonight. Any discount codes that I have. So I hope you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.